Happy Thursday, everyone. It's sorry to be back before you so soon, but I notice everything. And this is not an indirect comment, subliminal message to anyone. It really isn't. I just notice everything. Sometimes I wish I didn't. Sometimes I look so hard for the good in others, my eyesight gets blurry. And I noticed, um, I guess it's something petty. I'm, I'm really not sure. It's sad when people are in competition with you and, and no, you didn't get the memo. <laughs> See, I laugh because it, it is actually funny. It is actually funny. I do what I do because it helps me personally. I do what I do because I love to do what I do. And I, I love it even more when people come and you know join me on some of the things that I do. Because when you're passionate about something, you put your all into it. And if someone enjoys it, if you're a person that likes or loves helping people, or just seeing somebody smile, you'll do that. For most of my life, I've always been a giver. I've given even when I didn't have it to give. I.e. meaning, I used to give away my mom's stuff to people. <laughs> and she would get mad at me, but she knew my heart. Never got in trouble for it. And I guess as long as I have breath in my body, I don't think I'll change. I don't see any changes coming because I'll be 60 on my birthday. And um, it just makes me more, more, more and more motivated to do good. That's what it does. It's just like when, when I used to go into the workplace every day because I work from home now. But when I used to go into the workplace, I have this habit of speaking to people when I see them. I go, hi, how you doing today? I don't have to know you. I'm just acknowledging your presence on the planet. I'll tell you something funny. I remember one time I was, um, I was at work. I think I'd been working remote for a while, but I had to go back in. And old habits are hard to break. And I knew I knew this lady because I, I always speak to people. I don't know if the lady was having a bad day. I don't know if she recently got promoted and I was just a peon. I don't know what her problem was, but I speak to everybody. Anyway, we were walking down the hall, and normally, whether someone speaks back to me or not, I smile and keep it moving, but that one particular day, I didn't. Lord knows, I didn't. Because as soon as the lady passed me, and I know she saw me because we made eye contact, when I talk to people, I look you directly in your eye. One, because I don't hear good. Two, I have to um, read your lips to make sure I'm hearing what I'm thinking I'm hearing. Anyway, sister girl walks on down the hall. Then there was this Caucasian man that spoke to, well, she spoke to him. I know he didn't speak to her because I didn't hear him say nothing. I mean, he spoke to me. I don't know why he didn't speak to her. But before I could catch myself, I said, oh, you can't talk. That irritates me. It doesn't cost a thing to be kind. I'm not saying you've got to empty out your pockets for people. But kindness costs you nothing. It's never cost me a thing. It actually makes me feel good inside when I can lift someone's spirits. You're going to keep hearing the same thing over and over and over from me because I'm not going to change. Everything around me may change. Like my hair has more gray in it. And no matter how many times I try to color it, the gray is here to stay until I get tired of coloring my hair. But anyway, I just notice things. I notice little subtle things. People try to goad you into an argument or whatever. I'm like, you can't make me argue with you. You ask anybody that knows you, I will look at you like you're stupid or just plain ignore you. And what irritates most people is when they're being ignored, when they're trying to make a point or whatever. If God didn't give you a message for me, and I know you're being foolish, I'm going to ignore your bind. Oh, yes, and I might even laugh in your face because I'm good at that too. 
If it prevents me from allowing harsh words to come out of my mouth, I will laugh right in your face. That's anybody. And yes, it kept me in trouble as a child because adults didn't like that. They said I was womanish. I wasn't womanish. They were just looking for a reason to try to break my spirit. Look, if rheumatoid arthritis hasn't taken me out, hasn't broken my spirit, if being abused didn't break my spirit, I know words that people say to me, not going to break my spirit. I might ask a question for understanding because sometimes people have a tendency to read into stuff, hear selective hearing and outrage. That's all around. That's online. That's in the real world. It's like they've been sitting back rehearsing what they were going to say to you. I don't even give people a chance to do that. I just don't. So for the one that's always trying to compete against me, sister girl, go somewhere and sit down. It's not going to work. I'm not arrogant. I don't have to be. My work speaks for me. It, it, it just does. And you have a beautiful day, okay? Love you. <laughs> I'll laugh right in your face. Bye.